All right, guys. So today we got a subscriber request. Now we were, we as you can see, we were going to test the kill zones, but we were going to put them up against the True Glow Four Blade, just because they're kind of similar in style. But I saw last night we had a comment uh, asking for Grim Reaper versus Kill Zone, so I asked him which one he wanted. He wanted right here the Carnivore. Now this is the broadhead I currently shoot. It is actually in the Triax hunting setup video, but today we're going to do a true test carnivore versus the kill zone by New Archery Products. Now, as you can tell, my two cents looking well, having shot the gel block a couple times, two blades do extremely well in there. So, if the carnivore can keep up with this, I'd be shocked. I'd still shoot this even if it doesn't. This is a gnarly broadhead, but today. We will be shooting a Kinetic Chaos 300 spine. It's a 476 grain total weight arrow. And I'll be shooting it with my Tri-X with wake limbs at 83 and a half pound draw. We're shooting at 20 yards. We've got the Tatter Tam down there, ready to film in slow-mo so we can get that good side angle. And uh, we got kind of a redneck setup over there, if you will. A couple bricks, a stick, and a little cheap table. We're gonna have to improve on that. but. Let's see, without a further ado, let's see. We'll shoot this one first, because this is my go-to anyways. Then we'll open these up and we'll shoot one and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right guys, so first up, Grim Reaper. Carnival. Let's send it. Show me one. Yep. Okay, so uh, got too excited. Awesome cut on the Carnivore. Let you all down. Forgot to turn tactic camera on. So, we're gonna do that one again. But this time, we have the Nap Kill Zone, two inch cut, rear deploying. With the trophy tip, it looks like something that belongs on a bow fishing broadhead. But it's whatever. We'll have the tactic cam on this time. That is on me. We're gonna shoot it a third time, so I'm gonna be real strategic about where I put this arrow so we can get that Grim Reaper because that cut is beautiful. So, let's see. I'm gonna go turn the cam on, actually, this time. Here we go, we actually got the cam on. Once again, that's my bad. We'll shoot it a third time. And uh, let's see, here's the Nap Kill Zone, two inch cut, rear deploying broadhead. It does look pretty mean though. That didn't sound as loud as all the other ones, did it? I was real quiet. All right, here's the makeup. It's on me. Okay, first one. I didn't quite, I got excited. Okay, I wanted to bring this to you guys. This cut, phenomenal. So, 20 yards, you can see two arrows in there right now. We shot the kill zone. We shot the carnivore. Had the tech to cam on in slow motion for one of them. So, we're gonna put a third arrow right in the middle or I'm going to assault that nap. I, don't, I haven't decided. And uh, Tacticam's on slow motion because you guys got to see this cut. So, let's do it. shot three in there because I messed up so we got two Grim Reapers this was the first one right here as you can tell it got about even with the kill zone but look at this cut channel I mean that <laughs> is nuts okay that's getting probably 14 and a half inches deep in this thick gel with that much cut and with a four blade that's insane and once again, this is a 476 grain Kinetic Chaos gold tip. Now, we move down, we'll actually show the kill zone here before the third shot of Grim Reaper. Now what I see on this, see on this is a problem. It's got a good cut and it's got a good spiral to it. As you can see, as you can tell, the Grim Reaper is just better. 
sorry. But look how far it took to actually open up. That's, what do you think, Moose? About three inches to actual deployment? Yeah, three, three and a half. Three, three and a half inches to actual deployment. This stuff's thicker than a deer. So I don't want to see that at all. I want to see like the reapers. They open right as soon as they hit. You're going to get a good kill, clean kill. I don't trust these. I would never shoot them. But they did penetrate well. And then that third shot from the Grim Reaper actually penetrated the furthest. Hit dead true. Has a great entrance. And as you can tell, just an absolute awesome cut. That, that's a wound channel right there, ladies and gents. That's going to put a deer down. And Grim Reapers, when they say watch them drop, they mean it. Watch them drop. Now this is one of the tests we're doing today. Now I'm going to get behind the cam and film El Mustafa with the old, what are you shooting? Swacker and Thorn. The Swacker? The Swacker and Thorn. They Similar design, so we figured that that would be a really good comparison to put them up against each other. We both have our severe doubts on one of them. A little bit mix of both of them actually, but uh, we'll see what they do. So this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And if you're not following along with our Broadhead Test Series, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up down there. And at the end of these tests, the penetration and cut, real wound channel tests, you know, uh, these will go into a durability test. We'll do that at the end. We'll save all these broadheads and we'll do that in one video and just see which one can just stand up to everything. So subscribe. It's time to film another one. Hope you all having a good day. Let's get after it.